Hi everyone. Motorway collisions can be pretty serious with the speeds involved. Um, but in this clip, my camera, who sent in this, uh, this little video, seeming to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. It was quite unlucky, I think. You made a concerted decision. You made a very clear decision to take away the ads on videos where they don't have to back on them. Just to be because oh. they don't have ads on them. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Both the driver and the passenger of the cam car did sustain slight injuries, but were all okay apparently. But the Peugeot driver did go to hospital, although his injuries weren't life threatening. The Audi driver is obviously oblivious of the Peugeot and is showing some poor lane discipline. The movement back to the left for me is possibly triggered by our camera approaching. As I pause this clip there's going to be loads of people screaming at the screen, he didn't signal. Well that's correct, but the key to this accident and why it happened is that the Audi driver didn't look. I also don't think the Audi driver needed to move. There's a junction coming up and our camera was already moving to lane 3. They obviously knew what they'd done. Look at the brake lights. The collision did cause some significant damage as you can see by these pictures but unfortunately the driver of the Audi who was pretty obviously aware of what had gone on was never traced by the police. The Peugeot driver also played a significant part in this accident. The fact that they were catching the Audi up and about to pass on the near side was a huge big part of this collision. Because you should be overtaking correctly on the offside, there's less expectation for anyone to be passing on the near side. That's no excuse for the Audi not to look, but this incident perfectly shows the dangers of undertaking. There's something else that I'd quickly like to point out about the braking that the Peugeot did during a collision. Because the Peugeot was pre-2004, it was actually a 52 plate, this car I don't think had ABS. And you can also tell this by the lockup. Their first heavy brake and swerve unbalances the car, but it's this part now. Watch the front wheel. It was locked most of the way across the road. If your car hasn't got ABS, pump your brake pedal and you should still have steering input. This is a hard skill in an emergency though. I think this clip shows how important a choice it is when choosing a car that it has ABS. All modern cars, well most of them, come with ABS as standard but since 2004 this was the case so any car that you are looking at which is pre 2004 and this car um, was a 52 reg the Peugeot so any cars pre 2004 may not have ABS I'm not saying that this would have stopped the accident but with knowing how ABS works and its ability to allow you to brake heavily and still steer may have helped a lot. The camera did admit to me that they were travelling a little over the speed limit. How would that have affected this accident? Let me know what you think in the comments. The camera for me was caught up in a quite unfortunate incident in this particular clip. It was quite a long drawn out process as well. Because the Audi driver wasn't traced, both the insurance from the Peugeot and the Volvo of the Camacar 
decided to go through the MIB or the Motor Insurers Bureau, not the Men in Black. And what this then allows is the MIB actually help recover any compensation from cars that aren't insured or can't be traced. But this is again another proof of the pudding that any accident is just not worth getting into, try and avoid if you possibly can. But like I said, the camera was probably in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'd like to say a massive thanks to Ben for sending in this very interesting clip. I thought there were parts of this clip which we've not touched on in any other video, so it's a, a good one and I'm really happy that he sent it in. Now, undertaking, people who say undertaking, it's okay and you're okay just to continue in the lane that you're in, I think this really proves that a lot of the time you may get away with it, but in certain situations it can cause issues. Should the Audi have looked? Absolutely. However, there's a sort of expectation that there shouldn't be things passing on that left-hand side. So that's why I say that people's observations, although this is not excusable, people's observations can be a little lax when they're moving back to the left. So literally, just overtake properly. It takes two seconds of your life to do a couple of lane changes and people say the extra lane changes are just adding risk. Not if you do them safely. That's never been an argument, so do things properly. I'd like to say a massive thanks to all my viewers for their support. Please do keep on sending these clips in and keep safe everyone. See you next time.